Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. I picked up three non-runners today, or actually a couple of them do run. Gentleman came out a couple weeks back, and um, <clears throat> we were going to do a deal. We just couldn't get the numbers right. So he left and uh, messaged me this morning. Would I still be interested in buying these three from him. He just went out to Home Depot and bought a new self-propelled and uh, had these three on his hands. He just wanted to get rid of them. So I went out and grabbed them this morning. So he told me what each, it, each issue was with each unit. So I, I think it's going to work out. I'll be able to handle the known issues, there may be su surprises, you never can tell. This lawn boy would start, he said, but it, it stalls out. So this has got fuel and oil in it. I just checked it out. I'll let, let you listen to what it does. That's different. Second time starting it, it um, actually kept running. But it's uh, got an extremely high idle, so I got to see what's happening with this thing. And it didn't have much of an air filter on it. I'll probably just do it a uh, carb clean. Nothing left of the paper element, but it did have the pre-element on it. So, this is going to need some carburation looky-looky on this one. There's something uh, that's not freeing up on the uh, governor. This uh, Toro 675, I believe this one here would start, but there's an issue with the drive line. He said there's two bolts missing somewhere in the drive line. I got to turn this one on the side and see what he's talking about. Let me um, start this one up. So it starts pretty easily. I went to engage the drive line and it just moved a few inches and was not uh, working properly. So we got to check out this Toro Recycler, see what the issue is. Right now it's just a pusher. Here's a snapper with a 675 in it, just like the Toro Recycler. This one here, he said there's a hole in the gas tank. It'll take like uh, eight ounces of fuel. You fill it more than that and it starts pouring out of the tank. So I threw a little fuel in it. I did see it coming out of the tank in the back. I'm not sure if it's going to start now. The, uh, the fuel might have all leaked out of it. But let me give this one a try. 
the drive line appeared to work on this one. I think it's just a tank issue with the hole in the tank. So that one just needs to be cleaned up. I did not need to use happy juice on any of these to get them fired off. They all fired off on their own free will. But they'll still need some carb work. So various issues on all of these. Like I said, I think we can handle all the little issues that each one has. I think they'll all be good sellers. I do have quite a few self-propelled now for sale, but these will be um, my second tier level self-propelled. I have some real nice units that are only a year or two old. These are older units considerably um, showing some wear, some rust. The Lawn Boy being the nicest of all of them. This is a pretty sharp looking unit. Let me look at the uh, date code on this one. It's a 2010 unit, so an 11 year old unit. None of these came with bags, which is fine. So I'm going to be busy today. I'll start on each one of these and address the known issues. I'll get them all cleaned up, take some pictures, and put them up for sale. I appreciate you kids and cadets coming out and looking at these three fine beauties that I grabbed this morning. Got a call from a, another scrapper. He's got five units, but they're, they look a little rough. Much, much rougher than these three. So I may go out later and, and pick up those five a uh, few of them are just going to be parts machines. They're pretty rough shape. So thanks again. We'll talk to you real soon. Thanks for checking out my channel.